you and your friends are flying over a dense forest on a helicopter. Suddenly, disaster. The hurricane takes control of the helicopter and it crashes right into the forest. Now you need to survive in this dangerous place. You need to make your way through the dense forest. It's really hard to walk here. Long grass, thick bushes and hungry mosquitoes attacking you from all sides. They bite and bite and bite. Each time it's more painful than before and you just keep scratching. You need to do something to protect yourself. You think of three possible solutions for this problem. A. Rub some smelly grass onto your skin. B. Cover your exposed skin with clay. Or C. You can spray deodorant on your arms and legs. What's the best option to get rid of these annoying insects? Think fast. The answer? You need to use clay. It's the best natural mosquito repellent. You don't know what kind of grass that is, it might cause allergies, and the smell of deodorant just won't help. The mosquitoes don't bother you anymore, so you decide to check on your supplies. You need to make sure that you have enough food for everyone. Suddenly, you notice that all your bread is gone. You know that it was in your backpack with the other supplies. So you ask around, try to find out who stole the bread. But none of your friends confess, of course not. So who did it? Who stole the bread? The answer? Here's the robber right here, the one without a knife. He used his knife to slit open your backpack, but he was in such a hurry that he forgot it at the crime scene. So now there's not much food left. You gather all the remaining products. Now you need to decide what to do with them. Here's what you have. A can of beans, a chocolate bar, and several bananas. The way you see it, there are three options. A. Eat everything you have and hope that you get out of the forest soon. B. Just eat the bananas and save the rest for later, if there is a later. And C. Leave all the food untouched and try to go hunting. What should you do? Well, you probably won't be able to hunt because you don't even know what kind of animals are in the forest. And eating all the food is not a great idea. You don't know how soon you'll be able to get out of the forest and what if there are no edible fruits or berries, you know, after you finish everything? The answer? You should eat the bananas to get some energy. Bananas can go bad quickly, but the other food can be stored for later. If you got a bit of energy, your brain will work much better. You might just come up with a plan that'll save your life. Your friends are tired and are desperate to stop and rest. You decide to scout the path out ahead by yourself. But something unexpected happens in the forest. There was a big pit directly in front of you. It was covered by branches and leaves. Wait, who else lives in this forest? That's creepy. You didn't notice it and you fell down into the pit. It's not insanely deep, but you can climb out of it or jump. If only you were taller. Oh, and your friends won't hear your cries for help. You know the forest muffles any scream that you make. Luckily, you notice a stone and two bricks at the bottom of the pit. You put the two bricks on top of each other on the stone and you stand up on them. But it's still not enough. Even if you stretch out your arms, you can't make it to the top. So how can you get out? The answer? You need to place the bricks vertically. Then, with a bit of balance, a bit of luck, you can get out pretty easily. When you return to your friends, you find that someone ate half of your chocolate. You're not sure whether one of your friends did it, or maybe it was that mysterious person who dug that pit. So you just casually ask what they were doing while you were away. Jane said, I went to the nearby field to look at the flowers. I even made a wreath. Jack said, I saw a bat hunting and I just watched it. And Oliver said, I went to go look for some mushrooms. Total fail. I just found a handful of berries. Who's lying? These guys didn't turn out to be very good friends, did they? The answer, it was Jack. 
Bats are nocturnal animals, and they only hunt at night. Jack was sorry and gave you half of his bread, you know, as a peace offering. Now you can all go through the forest together. Finally, you come to a river. It's really strong and noisy, looks pretty dangerous. It's definitely too difficult to swim across it. You take some water for later and discuss a plan with your friends. Here's what they say. Let's camp on the shore. Let's walk along the river. No, let's go back in the forest. So, let's see those survival skills in action. Who's got the right idea? The answer? You should probably walk along the river. That's how you can get back to civilization much faster. Hey, do you agree with this answer? Don't you think there's a better option? So what would you do? Share your thoughts in the comments. Okay, so you follow your friend's advice and walk along the river for about half an hour. You stop for a break. And suddenly you hear a growing rumble. What is it? It's a helicopter! Hurry up, you gotta give a signal! You can scream loudly. You can make a smoke signal from a bonfire. Or you can use your knife blade to reflect the sunlight. Time to remember all those action survival movies. Which option's the best? The answer? The screaming doesn't make much sense. The river is loud and the helicopter's even louder. And you don't have time to make a bonfire. The helicopter will be long gone. You should signal with sunlight using your knife. It's not a great option, but it's your one and only chance. You are saved. You faced your fears. You completed the challenges, and most importantly, you survived the forest. Hey, what other forest survival rules do you know? Tell me in the comments.